Why do I have so much stuff? Oh my goodness. Well, hello there, beautiful people. Thank you for joining me for this moving vlog. Um, so yeah, I left packing till the last minute. It was super stressful, really stressful. Would not recommend. But I did hire and drive a van all by myself, which was honestly one of the most adult things I've ever done. And then I was saved by my friend Ben who came and packed the van so well, I would not have been able to do it without him. I said goodbye to Mew Mew the cat that made me like cats. Oh, I miss her. And I said, hello, London. So yeah, let's get straight into the vlog. I hope you like it. You guys, it's not even funny anymore. I still didn't pack. So I had some products that I ordered arrive in the mail. Um, these clip-in Kinky Straight extensions, which I decided that I simply had to wash and condition and try out straight away. But yeah, I don't really know what I'm gonna do because I've not started packing and I'm gonna have one day to pack. And looking at the boxes I have, part of me is like, I don't even think that's enough boxes. I've got the last session of my church small group, so meeting with, actually, not even all of us will be there. There's only five of us there this week because one of the guys has also got a job in London and is moving to London and he's down there at the moment. There'll just be five of us, but it'll be my last small group of them all. Um, so we generally do Bible studies and pray together. And they've just been like, I love them so much. We're essentially like family, um, especially over the last year in lockdown, we maintained Zoom calls every week. And I think that's a testament to how much we love each other and how much we all love this group. I'm gonna go have dinner there. Um, and I guess I will just have to have a really intense packing day tomorrow. I feel like maybe if I don't vlog tomorrow, I'll be able to focus, no offense to you guys, but low key, this is distracting me. So yeah, I'm gonna go. Hello guys, please excuse how rough I look. I'm just gonna kneel down because I'm actually tired. It is Thursday and I pick up the van in an hour and I still have so much to pack. I spent all day yesterday packing, did kind of go out in the evening, but it's my last week in Cardiff, okay? But yeah, I spent all day yesterday packing and there's just so much stuff. I have so much stuff. I'm giving away so much stuff. I'm selling so much stuff. And yes, I still have so much stuff that I don't even want to get rid of. It's stuff like, for painting, stuff for music, stuff for videography and YouTube, just so much stuff, which makes me really think I want to buy a house. I want to buy a house where I can have like somewhere to store all my art stuff, all my recording stuff. So yeah, that really motivates me to carry on saving because I don't like doing this. I don't like feeling like a nomad with no home. I've got so much to do, I've got to do it really quickly. Um, so I'm just moving everything that's almost packed downstairs so then I'll be able to like seal boxes and say okay that box is full blah blah blah. I think we're almost there though I think it'll probably take me like another hour. So actually they called me to say that the van was late anyway. I am just moving massive boxes like this and I actually kind of love it like don't get me wrong I love working out for like the health benefits I love the aesthetics of it but it's when it comes to stuff like this that I realize I actually love being strong like being able to just pick up a super heavy box and like have the strength to do that is low-key a flex like I'm really strong don't get me wrong I've got one of my friends coming over to help me later and I'm so grateful to him he like swapped his shift at work so he could help me like what a babe um but yeah like moving these boxes I'm like yeah it's effort but like I'm strong like being a strong woman is is a bit of a flex Why do I have so much stuff? Oh my goodness. I couldn't find my setting spray, so I probably look really shiny. Um, but I've got the go ahead to go and get the van, so I'm gonna go and get the van. Let's go. How many times can I say go in one sentence? I feel like I might need trainers. I'm wearing sandals right now. I feel like maybe I should wear trainers to drive a van for the first time, so probably change into those. There we go, do I look a bit more like a van driver now? 
kind of hoping that I'll be able to just like leave my car there when I pick up the van so then I don't have to like get an Uber there and back because that'll be pricey. I'm so gonna miss coming in and out of this place. Do you remember that story I told you guys about um, some guy coming up to me and trying to tell me how to park? The other day I was parking in Tesco wasn't really thinking of it just reversed into a spot quite quickly because I was in a bit of a rush and this lovely like older woman um like wound down her window and she was like great parking you're really good at driving or really good at parking or whatever she said and I was just like oh thank you that's really sweet and it just made me laugh like the contrast like you know that is if you're gonna be in someone's business be in it with a compliment nothing else nothing else unsolicited if it's unsolicited make sure it's a compliment that's all I'm saying Anyway, I'm gonna focus on my driving now and go get this van. Oi, oi. Myself a van. Cute. Kinda of gutted it doesn't have the whole Enterprise logo on it though. Um, like that one. <laughs> I'd feel more official. But that's fine, I'll just drive like a little Dodge Criminals van. It's absolutely fine. Oh my goodness, you guys. This is insane, it's huge. There's so much space from driving my <laughs> my convertible to driving this. And everything's just in a weird space. Look, what's the gear, gear stick doing up there? Like what is going on? It's absolutely huge. Let's just try and get acquainted. I was hoping I'm literally as close as the seat can go. I was hoping it would be a bit higher up because I feel like I can't see ish. That's as high as it goes. Okay, wonderful. Wonderful. Time to learn the size of the vehicle. Oh, it's boiling. Let's get this on. Oh God, I pray for a safe journey in Jesus' name. I did just get the excess because I was like, do you know what? I think I might need that. I was like, where is the air con? Oh, I feel so bad leaving my beautiful car here. Girl, I'm sorry. I'll be back. I'll be back. Oh, this is exciting, you guys. What an adult thing to do, renting a van. Do you ever just realise you were like fully grown and you're like, how? How and when did that happen? Why wasn't I asked first? Okay, so, nice little safe journey home to start with. Oh, safe journey, I'm praying to snake. Wait, how am I, s I need to check my mirrors. Oh my gosh, there's no mirror up here. It's only the side mirrors. I think they look okay. I think they look okay. I'm literally just, sorry, my phone always gets in the way. I'm just like adjusting my mirrors here so that I can actually see what is going on. This is ridiculous. It's so spacey. I love it. Oh, sugar. Oh, that is sensitive. Oh God, Lord have mercy. That is so sensitive. Lord have mercy. Oh, you can kind of see everything though, can't you? Oh, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Say hi. Am I? I'm in the vlog. You're in the vlog. Come Congrats. On. I've always wanted to be a YouTuber. Hey guys, this is Ben. How's it going? Introduce yourself. My name's Ben, and uh, Sarah's paying me a lot of money today. <laughs> to move. Literally paying him nothing. It's just a good-hearted soul, which is really good because apparently I got too small a van, and we're not going to fit everything in. And while he's being optimistic, well, we just got to see how it goes. <laughs> Literally. Okay, that's the size of the van. Right, with two boxes already in it, and we need to get in all of this stuff. I can't believe I've got this one. Plus my TV. It'll be fine. We'll get a few more here, and then we'll, we'll see where we can this from. Okay. Oh, mate. And to be fair, so we get in all the big stuff, little stuff. I'm just quite squishing my car. I have to drive my car down anyway. We get in that way. How likely is it to go and swap the van with the people? What are they like? Um, I can do them a call and see what they say. Should I do the call? Yeah, just so we've got an option. Oh, my nail.
All right, guys, so we packed the van. It's taken about 20 hours, <laughs> two hours. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I think we've smashed it. We're only running um, three hours behind schedule, so what we're doing now, we're gonna get some food. Yeah. If I can find my keys, I got the van keys, but not my house keys. Nightmare. But um, yeah, we'll be on our way to London. Let's have a look in the van. It's a 20 plate van, so we're driving in style. We'll see you guys later. Can't do a road trip without getting some food. Got my Burger King. Oh. What have you got? Like all of KFC. <laughs> we've absolutely earned it. I'll turn the news down. We've we've earned it. Um, ben literally saved the day. Like we managed to fit almost everything in the van, and it was long. And now our ETA is half seven. That's yeah. not too bad. Yeah, I'm amazed it's not longer to be honest because there's traffic, but I'm not complaining. Okay, so I have arrived in London, but not quite at my final destination. Um, I just dropped off Ben at um, his friend's house, or our friend's house, because we are um, friends with him now as well, after he introduced us. Um, yeah, and so yeah, I've dropped him off, and now I'm going to head another hour and a half to Stratford. To my new to my new home. I was gonna say to see my sister, but I will literally be living there. I feel quite excited now, now that it's like getting closer. Um I'm quite tired of driving. It means that I'm not gonna get there till literally like oh Lord of mercy till nine o'clock. So honestly I might unpack the van tomorrow morning. It's probably a terrible idea, but whatever, YOLO, I might just do that. I really should have filmed this room before I moved all my stuff in because it looks amazing, but now I've messed up with all my stuff. But we've arrived. We literally, literally just started like unpacking the van straight away um, and I forgot to get the camera out because I'm an excellent vlogger. Um, but yeah, very exciting. Brother-in-law got She's working me to the bone. <laughs> <laughs> not stopped for five hours. <laughs> you literally haven't stopped since I arrived. So <laughs> <Thank> cute. <you. laughs> I'm a lot long about this suitcase. I mean, I'm this is the lie. workout I that I didn't pay for, that I get for free. <laughs> that's, what, that's my vocation in life, you know, wherever I go. <laughs> yeah, when are you releasing this workout? Hey, it's in Paris. Just dropped off the van. There's my little baby for the last two days. I'm gonna miss it to be honest. Very happy to be back too. My real baby girl. It's a cute little oldie. Do I need some air in that tire? Looks kind of flat to me. I feel like I need some air. I think I really need to learn how to put air in a car tire. Like Ew, it's a ladybug. How did you get in here? Oh my gosh. I think the safest way to do this is outside of the car. Oh, the leaves don't fly. Oh, it's flying. Oh, get out. Oh, get out. Please get out. Oh. I think ladybugs just have good PR. Like to me, they're just as buggy as any other bug. Oh my gosh, get out of my car, please. Just get out. Yes. Oh, thank the Lord. There better not be another one in here. Do you know what? I'm just going to put the roof down, just in case. That should protect me from nature, right? Putting the roof down. Yeah, in my opinion, ladybugs just have good PR and they're actually like just as much of a bug as any other bug. So my friend is coming down to visit from Birmingham. So I was just arranging the times of what we're going to do and when. How cute is this lovely leaving gift? Two glasses that are just like the glasses that I wanted to buy. And they're so pretty and I love them. And also, of course, got a bottle of Prosecco. Very excited to use these. So sweet. <laughs> good morning, friends. It is Tuesday. I say good morning, good afternoon. It's Tuesday the 3rd of August, I think. 
um, and I'm finally moving out of this house. Oh my goodness, why is moving so much stress? It has been so stressful. Every time I feel like, okay, I've packed all my stuff, or I've cleared everything, I remember stuff in the garage or in the fridge or blah, blah, blah. Um, and it's just insane, like how much stuff I can have. I already filled a medium van and my car is not full, but pretty much full. And I have given away as much as I possibly could. I've sold things and I'm really pleased. I'm really pleased. I'm really happy that I'm finally at this point. I was definitely supposed to have left Cardiff yesterday, last night, but I just thought I'm so, so tired. And I was just tired of packing. Like I didn't want to have to do the last of the cleaning and all that jazz like I wanted to be able to take my time and make sure I was happy with how I was leaving this house um so I decided to stay one more night um the cleaners did come yesterday and they did uh, my room um so that's all been cleaned professionally I still have two plants here so I've got this one that I couldn't sell which is so overdue a prune and this one which hasn't sold yet um, so I've just said that if someone messages me to sell it then I'll tell them to come and pick it up otherwise I will give it to my housemates um, but yeah, I think it's just ended up being like I've just been giving away so much stuff and this is really motivating me to save up enough to buy my own house because um, just this whole like feeling like a nomad, I don't even know what that word means so I probably shouldn't say it just in case it's offensive, but feeling like someone with no home um, and feeling really displaced, um, not to belittle homelessness or anything, but just feeling really displaced and like I have nowhere to keep things that I don't want to throw away and um, it's quite unsettling but I also don't want to be a hoarder <laughs> so I think it's good that I kind of have to get rid of things. So yeah the place is pretty tidy I mean as tidy as I could get it with all the things still there and there's so much like food and stuff that there's no point in me throwing away and um, because my housemates just like yeah they'll eat that <laughs> um but yeah i'm gonna miss this place it's absolutely beautiful the garden the space i filmed so many videos over here so many videos were filmed here just because it's such a good setup like look at that for a camera setup and a plain background and the lighting coming in from the window perfect setup i did keep all my stuff in this spare room it's just like a kid's room i kept like all my boxed up boxed up stuff and that oh my goodness took me so long to sort through i didn't even film it i don't think because i was so stressed at that point um and i'm embarrassed as to how much like this was just covered in stuff that i had semi unpacked um over the course of the year and kind of used but hadn't really unpacked things that i hadn't used for a year so clearly i could live without but also some of them i could only live without because they were already in this house so Paid to get that clean and then the bathroom oh my gosh i'm gonna miss this bathroom so this is the bathroom it is huge lovely huge bathtub which i've actually used more than any other bathtub i've previously lived in the house with so that has been delightful really nice big ensuite i don't think i ever gave you a room tour as i said the cleaners just did such a great job like look at that squeaky clean mirror Fun fact, I don't have any deodorant on right now because I packed my deodorant somewhere and I don't know where it is because I wasn't planning on staying another night. I was planning on waking up in London um, and I'm pretty sure it's at like the bottom of my car and I just can't be bothered. So yeah, but bathroom's nice and clean. And then my room, we've got this banana sticker drawer, which to be completely honest, I had moved to the spare room, but I've just moved back into so it as it was when they gave it to me. But like low key, this is actually a really spacey room. Like, look how big the desk is. Like, there's a lot of desk space there. I don't know how to say that in context. I guess in context of the door, there's a lot of desk space. Lots of storage underneath. Storage under the bed. Well, not really, it's quite short. I didn't really use that as storage. But just so well lit. But one thing I won't miss is flashing my neighbors. <laughs> um, definitely left the curtains open to get some light every now and then. And then you just flash them. But there's been plenty of storage here. And the room is all done. So yeah, everything is nice and clean. I'm pretty happy. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with that condition. I'm hoping I get my, all my deposit back. I'm really going to miss this cat. Um, we've really bonded. She's not the most affectionate. So I low-key always thought, like, there's cuter cats around. Like, why would I care? But I care. Mew, mew. She clearly doesn't care. But what's really sad is that she actually does get like sad when people leave. Like when I first moved in, she clearly missed her owners. And um, so I feel like she might miss me because, I don't know, we've bonded a bit, haven't we? Mm -hmm. Hello. I'd laugh if she just bit me. I'd be like, lol, yeah, that's the extent of our bonding. She doesn't really bite though. And she does like it. She is the sweetest little cat. Well, that's a lie. She's not the sweetest. But I have grown to like her. 
She can be quite sweet, can't she? Hey, you can. I'm going to miss you. I'm scared you're going to bite me, though, because you turn and it's really unpredictable. And your, eye, your ears are, like, spiky. And you're looking at me with a side eye, so... Goodbye, Mimi. It has been lovely looking after you, and I'll miss you very much. Bye-bye. Okay, I think I'm ready to leave now. I keep wanting to leave, and then I don't want to leave. Just decided to stop and get some snacks from Asda. Just because it's so much cheaper than going to like a drive through I really want something that is kind of fresh that I can just eat, so yeah, that's what we're doing. Where's all the food? Do I want some melon and grapes? Yes, I do. Literally cannot find anything. I don't know where all the fresh food is. My keys are jingling. So I'm rushing. Love this. Please insert or tap your card. It's so warm when you wear a mask. Always getting stuck on my earrings. Always covered in makeup, but yeah. Um, I got some food. I think I'm gonna get some fuel as well because it is a long journey. Like in my head, I'm always like, oh yeah, London is three hours away. But my sister literally lives on the other side of London. So it's like East London. Um, so it's actually going to take me three hours and 41 minutes and it is 151 miles away and I've got half a tank and to be honest my half a tank should do it but I just know that I have so much to do um in the morning and I have um I have to be there for like seven knowing me it will take me that long to find parking to sort out where I'm supposed to be so I do want to leave at like <laughs> leaving the house at like half five so I'm gonna have 12 hours less than 12 hours between arriving at my sister's place and having to leave it so I was just like do you know what it's better and easier for me if I just fill up right now and this car is very warm but I don't have the roof down for when I'm driving because when I'm driving less than 60 miles per hour great when I go up to 70 and the roof is down I'm conscious of it it's fine but I'm conscious of it and I still really need to get like a holder oh you can see my phone so I still really need to get a holder for my camera while I'm driving but whatever this view will do I'm going very slowly right now so hopefully it won't fall like it has in the past so I'm just gonna fill up here because it's also just so much cheaper it's so funny if I wait which I always forget which side my tank is on I think it's on the right side I'm pretty sure it's on the right side if I just gone to like Cardiff Gate around the corner I would be playing like 5p more per fuel for fuel and water would have been like two pounds instead of 80p for a bottle so yeah i'm just gonna fill up the tank now so that was it i filled up the tank and left cardiff leaving my home in south wales for the big city of london and it's not that big of a move but it felt like a big move because i love cardiff I had a wonderful home, a great job, and incredible friends who I love so much. But for whatever reason, this felt like the right time to take the jump. Because that's what life is all about, right? Whether things go right or wrong, it's, it's so exciting. There are so many possibilities that we get to explore and experience on this little rock floating in space, so yeah. Thanks for choosing to share in my once-in-a-billion-lives journey. I'll see you in London.